All right. So the Rams went ahead and waived uh, some players in the second round of cuts. Unfortunately, one of them was Kendall Blanton. So let's go ahead and get into this here. And I'll kind of give my thoughts as we go. Uh, the Rams wrapped up their second week of the preseason uh, Friday night, losing to the Houston Texans 24-20. to They had until Tuesday afternoon to uh, trim their roster down to 80 players, but they wasted no time cutting five players to get to the limit. Shockingly, Kendall Blanton was among the five players waived, which leaves Bryson Hopkins as the number two tight end. Raymond Calais, Jerrion McVeigh, and AJ Rose were also cut by the Rams. All right, so once again, that is Kendall Blanton, Raymond Calais, Jerrion McVeigh, and AJ Rose were cut uh, today. So, JJ Koski was waived with an injury designation. So, if he's not claimed by another team, he will revert to injured reserve. And so that's the transactions there. Uh, Blanton, Kendall Blanton, running back Raymond Calais, defensive back Jerry on McKay, McVay, running back AJ Rose. And JJ was put uh, on the injury designation. Blanton was competing with Hopkins to be Tyler Higby's backup. And late last season in the playoffs, Blanton caught uh, seven passes for 75 yards, including five catches for 57 yards in the NFC title game. He played 43% of the snaps, helping the offense as a blocker while being held catchless. As far as the tight ends go, we have Higby, of course, as our starter, uh, Hopkins, uh, as the backup, then Jared Pinky, Pinkney, and Roger Carter Jr. And at running back, we have Trey Raggis, Kyrene Williams, and Jake Funk are battling for the RB3 spot. Now that Calais and Rose have been waived. And yeah, Calais was the one who didn't want to pick up his block um, in last night's game. So, um, you, you know, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I am... I am. I need to think about this a little more. I am not too thrilled that we cut Kendall Blanton. I thought he was a good player. I thought he was uh, really good at blocking in particular. And I thought he was a big reason why uh, we won the Super Bowl. He even uh, pancaked uh, what's the dude's, uh, Nick Bosa on the 49ers during the NFC title game. That was That was a... That was pretty awesome to see. So, exactly why they cut him, I am not 100% sure. This could be a sign that they're making room for McCutcheon. Um, you know, which, uh, you, you know, if they were going to add McCutcheon to the final 53, someone somewhere was going to have to be cut. So, if that if that's what indeed it was, it would look like Kendall is the person who got cut. Unfortunately, um, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to think about this a little more because I'm still not entirely sure how I feel about it. Um, initially, I'm not very thrilled, but you know it is what it is. It's that this is part of the problem with having a championship roster is the fact that uh, unfortunately you just can't keep everybody. You know, you keep accumulating talent, good players, and eventually you're going to have to lose some of those players because you just can't keep them all. So, going to definitely have to think about this. But, Kendall, good luck to you. Thank you for your contribution last year. And, yeah, hope, uh, hope you find somewhere good to go. But I'm going to cut it off here. And I will catch you guys on the next one. And as always, go Rams.